<laughs> I look crazy. Hi guys. Um, I might look really crazy right now, but my makeup is done for my Halloween look and I am going to be the Mad Hatter from Alice in the Wonderland. The makeup inspiration that I took was from the Johnny Depp version of the Mad Hatter and I kind of used that as an inspiration kind of just to do my makeup. I went for a crazy but more natural look. Like I didn't use that crazy full coverage foundation because I actually don't have any. <laughs> I actually like the more natural look in general so i don't really have very full coverage foundation so i kind of just did the best i could and to achieve this look i will be using the wet and wild palette in poster child i thought this would be a cheap way to get this colorful look in you have all these colors to use for halloween makeup and you know if you don't if you're a neutral lover like me and don't have that many color shadows i think this is a good way to go for halloween makeup if you want to see this look let's get started so i have my base on right now and i kind of just filled in my brows so i'm gonna get started with my eyes and then i'll finish my face so let's go let's get started i'm gonna take my more fluffy brush and use this blue color all over the lid and it, my lid is primed, by the way. Ooh, kind of a pretty color. I'm using this, the lighter blue color right now. I'm gonna pat it on, blend it out all the way to the brow bone. By the way, I actually chose this Halloween costume because I went after Halloween during the after Halloween sale at the costume store and I happened to find it. Let me know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. So I'm going to use this teal color, pack it in inside. I'm gonna take a more of a flat shadow brush and then go in with this blue again. I'm pretty happy with the blue. You know, I might go in and fix some things later, but now I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line. I'm gonna start off with this like more fluffier pencil brush and then go in with this color. And kind of blend it out. Then I'm gonna go in with a smaller pencil brush. By the way, I did put primer under my eyes too because I wanted the colors to show up better. I think I'm gonna take a, a smaller flat brush just to add more of a punch. I think I'm gonna use that flat brush again just to add some more blue. This one's really good for like packing on shadow. A little bit of a fall out there. So for the eyes now, I'm gonna line the upper line. Let's actually blend this part out a little bit. Blend this part out with a fluffy brush. Now I'm gonna take my Stila Stay All Day liquid liner. This is kind of a travel sample size. And I'm gonna line my upper lash line. Actually for this I will need a little mirror. So I'm just gonna line it close. I know I messed up a little bit but I'm actually gonna go over it with a different color. So so I've kind of lined my eyes there. Now I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Scandalize pencil in nude and I'm gonna do my waterline. So um, in the picture, you can see that he has, kind of his eyelashes are coated with white mascara and I don't have white mascara. So I'm going to just use the nude pencil to kind of make like an impression of white lashes. So 
of kind of drew in kind of long white-ish lashes with the nude I had a little bit of a video mishap and I thought I was recording but it kind of stopped but I did also use the nude liner and I lined it above the black so that's what I was doing now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of the blue because I feel like it's not doing justice so I'm gonna go back in with my flat brush and a little more blue on top. Do you remember when back in the day when we used to be able to go trick or treating? That was awesome. <laughs> I miss those days. Now I'm just too old. Now I'm, I'm gonna add a little more of the teal. More on the top. So that's it so far. So now I'm gonna just go in with my face and I could touch up anything if I need it. So I'm gonna take my cream bronzer, this is by Sonia Keshek, and I'm gonna use the Sephora brush and Precision Sweep. I know this is a little bit more warm than the actual photo, but we'll be topping it up. My hair is looking a little bit crazy, I need a haircut. <laughs> That's the thing, right? Um, when you have long hair, you don't realize it, but short hair is just so hard to take care of. I'm just gonna put it down my jawline. Now I'm gonna take uh, my little angled kabuki brush. This is by um, Kirkland brand. I had this for a while, but it's still going strong. I'm gonna take this hourglass blush in mood exposure, and I'm gonna use it to contour too. You know what, this might not be bright enough, so I'm actually just gonna go in with this eyeshadow, the one that's under my eyes. Ooh. Kinda wanna bring it into my cheeks a little bit. I am going to curl my lashes. I know, seriously, curling eyelashes could look scary, but it makes the world of difference. Look how long my eyelashes look now. Now I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Rocket Volume. Do you guys turn your hand around like this too? I always do that. Now I'm gonna put on these lashes. They are. EL66 by JCAT. Can't do Halloween without fake lashes, right? So I'm gonna put them on and I'll be right back. So I went for these like crazy dramatic lashes because it's Halloween. It takes me a while to put on lashes though, just because I don't do it on everyday basis. But for lips, I'm gonna go for this Revlon lipstick. This is kind of the old school one called Mirrored Mob. It's like this pinkish red. So this is my makeup complete. Um, feel free to use a more full co coverage foundation or even something more white if you want to follow the makeup look more properly. But I kind of like this natural semi crazy look and let me put on my costume and I'll show you what it the finished product looks like. So I saw on runway shows that they had all these different type of graphic liners that the models were wearing. And I tried to do one that's like more wearable. So I, I went for this subtle double wing right there. 